Hey you guys, I hope everyone is doing well. So I wanted to pop in and chit chat a little bit. So in one of my last vlogs, I kind of talked about, really I just kind of skimmed over it. I was talking about like my biggest weight loss, weight gain regret, as well as no matter how much weight I lose, no matter how much plastic surgery I have, I think I'm at the point where I don't think I will ever be happy <laughs> with the way I see myself. Um, oh gosh, you guys, so I wanted to just go ahead and jump into this. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and make sure that you check out some of my previous videos. I've been vlogging like crazy and it'll just give you a little bit of insight into my life. So again, make sure you are subscribed. If you haven't already, make sure you thumbs up the video. It helps out the channel so, so, so very much. And make sure you comment. Let me know how you're doing. And also let me know how you feel about this topic. So you guys, this video probably is going to be heavily edited only because even though I've been thinking about this topic for a little while now I don't really think I have the words to express myself how I want to um, I want to be able to at the end of this video I want you guys to understand um, where I'm coming from and I hope that I can get my thoughts and my feelings across in this video so first off, I want to talk about what fat does to the body, not necessarily on the inside, but on the outside. Um, I do know that I have several new subscribers. Welcome to the family. And I did want to reintroduce myself just in case you guys do not know. My name is Kamonica. I have been on YouTube for like, what, 13 years, over 13 years. And a big chunk of that time, I've been sharing my weight loss journey. I started off weighing about eight, 481 pounds I lost 300 pounds but I've kind of found that um, fine balance for me at around 215 219 after losing the weight I've had three plastic surgeries in the last year and a half I had a standard tummy tuck I had a tummy tuck revision that includes um, them going down the middle which is an FDL they cut you down the middle and pull the skin in and I also had my arms lifted I plan on having one more, more uh, I plan on having one more surgery between December of this year and February of next year and that's to get my back done and my breasts lifted as well. So now that we have that out of the way um, I really wanted to pop in and tell you guys my thoughts and my feelings about my body. Um, now um, I know some of you guys probably don't give a damn about any of this. <laughs> I know you guys won't, but this video is kind of dedicated to the people that I think that might care about this. Um, yeah, so I really wanted to touch on this. So again, at some point in my life, I got up to 481 pounds, okay? That's me consuming thousands and thousands of calories every single day in order to gain that weight and maintain that weight, right? So that's actually my only regret, gaining all of that weight like I did. And what I mean by that is, y'all, I would have ate all, still to this day, thinking back, all of the food, all of the stuff that I ate back then to gain almost 500 pounds, I would have still ate all of that. Okay, I would have ate all of that, but I would not have ate as much of it. So, again, y'all, I used to sit like a meal for me, real talk six little Debbies, strawberry shortcakes, three to six, peach Fanta soda, my peach soda, some chips, right? So, instead of me eating all of that junk food in one sitting. I probably would have had one little Debbie, a 25 cent at the time bag of chips and a 20 ounce instead of a two liter. Okay. So it's like, that's like my, my biggest regret, not understanding moderation. So throughout all that I've been through, I'm still considered plus size. Now I'm considered healthy per my doctor, <laughs> but I am considered plus size still. And I, I'm okay with that. I maybe I have a warped sense of reality, 
But I think it's okay to be plus size. I think it's okay to be chunky. I think it's okay to have a little meat on your bones, right? So even though I'm okay with being plus size, my problem with me was being morbidly obese. Like I stretch my body to the limit, to the limit that it should not have been stretched in my opinion. So here's what I learned. So back when I was at my heaviest, when I was starting my weight loss journey and all of that, that was back in my early to mid twenties, right? Social media wasn't really like blowing up, popping like that. As far as like um, plastic surgery, like a lot of people wasn't having plastic surgery or it wasn't talked about, right? So I never really thought about that back then. Um, I do know that, you know, the, the age of of social media a lot of people feel as though you know if they gain weight they could just lose the weight and they can have a tummy tuck or arm lift or whatever to fix the problem and to a point that is true but I have to say this once you expand your body you know to the point that you you know you have all of this loose skin and then you lose the weight so once you do that damage to your body and then you have plastic surgery I'm telling you now your body will never be the same like even after you lose weight before the plastic surgery your body will never be the same but once you have the plastic surgery your body will never be the same and you might get stuck in this loop of continuing to have plastic surgeries thinking or looking for normalcy that might not ever come now most of the time after plastic surgery you do feel better about yourself but not completely normal. And I can't really explain it. Um, and I'm not speaking for everyone, of course, but I am speaking for everyone that I know personally or uh, um, that I've had, you know, surgery talk with. All of them, they express the same thing that I express that after all of the weight loss, you're, you don't feel normal, you know, and then after the plastic surgery, even though you might feel better about yourself, your body still just doesn't feel normal anymore. So you guys, I have to come in because I know I cannot stress this enough. I do not regret losing weight. I do not regret where I am on my journey right now. I love it here. I regret stretching my body to the max as I did. I regret gaining all that weight from the beginning. So let's touch on that. Why do I say you'll never feel normal after losing all of that weight and after plastic surgery? Well, um, first and foremost, again, um, if you have a lot of loose skin, the loose skin will make you feel some kind of way. Um, honestly, I did feel very different being 481 pounds with fat, but it was tight versus being, you know, 200 pounds with loose skin. I felt different, right? And then after having plastic surgery, and I'm talking about, let's, I said this at the beginning, but I want to make sure that I say it again. I'm talking about your skin, like outer, outer. I'm not talking about inside, you guys. I'm talking about outer, like your, your body just typically just don't feel the same, right? And it's things that people don't even talk about, especially with tummy tucks. Um, a lot of times you don't even get the feeling in your stomach back. I can't even feel half of my stomach, B. <laughs> like, where is it? Like, if I'm standing in front of the stove, right? And I'm not aware. And I'm standing so close that the pan is touching my stomach. I've gotten third, fourth, fifth, ten degree burns before I even know it because I can't feel my stomach. And that feeling probably will never, ever come back. And for some people, um, or what am I trying to say? Um, for 
you ladies out there that have had um, C-sections, y'all probably can relate. Um, my doctor told me she can relate. She had a C-section and she haven't felt her stomach since. So, yeah, you know, and that's not normal. It really, really messes with your brain. So that's what I mean by you will probably never feel normal again. I can't even feel this. I, I'm pinching myself, baby. I can't feel this. I can feel like the pressure, like I can feel pressure, right? I can pinch all day. I could probably take a nail and I can pinch all day, y'all. Can't feel it, okay? Now, with the arms and because it's not as much fat, I've been told that I probably will get 98 plus percent titch of the filling back it normally takes about four to six months and it can take up to a year as far as the tummy go that sensation probably will never come back um it's been over a year and a half since i had my first tummy tuck and the feelings just probably will never come back then you have to deal with um itching that you can't scratch like in my stomach I don't I, I guess within the fat I don't even know I don't know but it be itching you hear me and when I scratch it I can't feel my hand there right scratching my stomach I can't even feel the scratch but I'm still itching okay and then you have to deal with like stinking sensations where like your nerves are getting feelings back and it's just shooting, it's firing. And it can happen at any time. I get it sometime in my stomach, especially my upper tummy. Because for the most part, my upper tummy has the feeling back. And I would get shooting and I'm like, I could be in public and I'm like, out of nowhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And... As you guys know, again, I plan on getting my boobs done. And one of the reasons that kept me from getting them done and the reason why I'm still kind of a little bit on the fence is because I know when they remove the nipple, all of that, they tell you one thing, you might not ever get that sensation back. You might not ever be able to breastfeed, etc., etc. So yes, again, we can always lose weight. We can always have plastic surgery to try to fix some of the damage that we cause. But again, you might not ever feel the same. You might not ever feel your, your normal anymore. So I said a lot of that to say, eat whatever you want to eat. Enjoy life. But try to do it in moderation, right? And if you're one of those people that you just love eating, you want to eat, but you also want to lose weight, then you have to make sure that you're getting your exercise in and you're getting your water in every single day. So again, you guys, that's probably my biggest regret, just stretching my body to its limit. Um, I think I would have always been plus size, like, I think I would have always been plus size no matter what. I love food, y'all. I love food right now. I'm going to get ready to go cook in a minute. I love food, okay? So I think that I would have always been plus size no matter what. I just regret stretching my body, you know, to, to the limit like that. So basically, how do I feel now after losing all of that weight and having plastic surgery? Um, I'm probably about 60% okay with where I am right now, right? Um, so here's why. When I first had my tummy tuck, I should have had a full bottom body lift. I should have had a full body lift, right? So the tummy tuck as well as the line over my butt, all of that should have been lifted. Because with all of that loose skin, after losing, you know, all of that weight, all of that loose skin was drooping down, right? So now what I'm dealing with is fat rolls on the side over here drooping down. Um, yeah, so as now that my body has settled, everything has settled, I'm dealing with fat rolls at the bottom drooping down where if I would have had a full body lift, that fat would be gone, right? 
And then, of course, you guys know that I have, you know, fat rolls in my back. Um, my boobs still hit my knees. Y'all yeah, know all of this. So when I say fat rolls, I'm actually talking about loose skin. With all of those Just a things, clarification. If I can get this back lift and this breast lift, I think that I would be, I would go from a 60 to like a 80 to 90. I don't think I would ever be 100% happy because you guys ask me all the time, do I plan on having a thigh lift? I do not, right? But I, I'm, I don't, I'm not very happy with my thighs. But I'm not so unhappy with my thighs that I want to cut into them because that is a surgery that 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 one surgery there. So many people has had complications, openings, and things like that. That's a tough surgery, right? So honestly. I just have to embrace these thighs. I don't think I will ever cut into them. But that's where I'm at. I'm like at about a 60% right now. And I do think that once I get these other two surgeries, I think that I will be, you know, like a, I think I'll be more of a 90%. If not, it is what it is. I, I You guys, I'm not... I'm not so obsessed with surgery that I have to have it now. I have to have it now, right? I got to get my body done now, now, now. I haven't even found a doctor to do well. I actually, I haven't booked a doctor. I have a doctor in mind, but I haven't even booked with him for my breast lift. Um, so it's not an emergency. I know that I want it done. I know I'm going to get it done, right? But it's not an emergency. I'm just, I'm not, I, I want to make this clear before I wrap up this video. Because I said I'm like at a 60 and that could just mean just miserable and unhappy. It's not that. When I look in the mirror, I'm just like, wow, you've lost hundreds of pounds. You've removed all of that loose skin, but you have a ways to go. You know what I'm saying? So if I was like, if I couldn't have no more surgeries right now, I would be a little upset but it wouldn't be something that would just, oh, uh, I would just be miserable about, about it every single day. Just misery. No, 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 no. It's something that I want. And I feel like as a person, okay, as a person, as a daughter, as a girlfriend, as a sister, I'm 100%. You feel me? Inside and out. But when I look in the mirror, my body... I'm not all the way there yet. And as you guys know, I've lost hundreds of pounds and I cannot expect to have one or two surgeries and bam, all that loose skin is gone and everything is fixed and everything is right with the world. It just doesn't work that way when you've been so heavy. You, most people that has been as heavy as me, you have to have multiple surgeries, you know what I'm saying, to get to look to, I don't, to look how you want to look. Because I was going to say normal or some type of normalcy, but that's not, to look how you want to look. And when I when I say normalcy, I just mean you're, you're normal. No one else is normal, you're normal, right? Because honestly, you guys, I, I'm, I'm very self-aware or I try to be. So when I look in the mirror and I step outside of myself, I think to myself, like, if someone else had this body, how would they feel about it? You know, I think that to myself and I just be like, I've came so far. There's not too many people that have came from where I came from that would just be unhappy, right? So I don't want to give the impression that I am unhappy with me again. If I never had a plastic, another plastic surgery again in my life, I would live my life and it would just be saggy titties every summer. That's just what it is. But since I have the time, you know, the finances and all of that, I, I want it done and I'm going to get it done. And it's just something that I want. It's not something that I have to have, right? Okay, you guys. So I'm going to wrap up this video here. I hope the message that I was trying to convey, I hope that you guys understood where I was coming from. And always remember, whatever makes you happy, that's what matters, right? So if you're okay with being morbidly obese, if you love your life, if you love the skin you're in and you never plan on losing weight, live your best life. Do you, right? 
I just wanted to express myself from being an, an a morbidly obese woman to like a plus size woman now. But I just wanted to explain to you guys how I feel now after losing all of that weight and now, you know, having these plastic surgeries. And always remember, you guys, if you take nothing else from this video, remember this. Kamonica still would have ate all that shit, just not as much of it. Thank you guys so, so very much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video and shoot your girl a comment. Let me know what you think about this topic. I love you guys, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Mwah.